Hey, the Gadget Man here with nothing but gadgets, and today I'm going to be showing you my new microphone, the Tackstar SGC598. So, three, two, one, let's get at it. All right, guys, so I've been needing a new microphone for my recording outside when I'm doing outside recording. I've been using the Rode Video Micro, and it's been a great microphone, and I'll later do a side-by-side -side comparison with this one. But I was looking for an upgrade, something a little bigger, a little more powerful, and I was looking at the Rode Video Mic Pro, which runs around 150 bucks, and uh, I wasn't afraid to spend that kind of money, but I saw this thing on Amazon.com, and it was $21, and it looks the same, it looks good, had about 1,600 positive reviews, and I was like, hey, man, you know what, for 21 bucks, why not try it out and see what I can get for 21 bucks? In you know, I can always spend the $150, $200 for the Rode Video Mic Pro, but let's try this out and see what we get. So I bought it, and I'm going to show you what it does. Let's go ahead and do some testing on it. All right, let's first... Let's get it out of the box here. All right, so let me open this box up. Mm, bend that over there. Comes with a nice little carry pouch. All right, manual. And look at that, whoa, check that out. That's nice. It feels a little plasticky, I gotta admit to it. You know, I mean, it's not metal, it is plastic. It's lightweight, lightweight here. It's got its cord with it here. Let's pull that out. It wraps around. Little silicone, silica bag there. Absorb moisture. Looks very nice. Okay. And it has the phone cover on it. Let's pull that off. Okay, there you go. That's that. Well, you know the only way to really figure out what it does is to test it out. So I'm going to go ahead and stick it on the camera and do some testing with it and I'll come back and show you those samples. So hold on. All right, so I took it outside to do some testing with it. Now, what I'm doing here is what I call the silence test. Now, I can't get pure silence because I don't have a soundproof room and the world is quite noisy. Uh, even out in the country where I live, miles from anybody, it's still noisy outside. So. Uh, but that's as quiet as I can possibly get it. Now, the quiet test is going to give you a great example of what a mic sounds like. Because any mic can pick up sound, but that masks the sensitivity of, of the mic. Doing a quiet test in the quietest environment will allow you to hear the quality of the compo components. Because when it gets real quiet, that's when you can hear the humming of the inferior quality components and stuff. Of microphones that's where their quality really shows is in, in, in silence so I took it outside um, and I did a couple of tests first I wanted to uh, test the onboard camera now I'm shooting with a Sony a6500 mirrorless camera which is an awesome camera and it has an onboard microphone but like most all onboard microphones it has its limitation so this first shot here is of the camera alone with this microphone uh, so that you can hear what that sounds like okay now I'm going to go ahead and put the mic on the camera here, and I'm not going to turn the mic on. Remember, this 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 mic is battery powered, uses one AA battery right there. I've got a Duracell in there, um, and so I'm going to start it with no sound at all. So let me start the clip, and there's no sound. Now I'm going to turn the mic on. All right, now I'm turning on the 10 decibel boost. And now the bass filter. Now I'm gonna turn the 10 decibel off and leave the bass filter on. And now the bass filter off.
Okay, so now you've heard what this mic sounds like on all its settings in a quiet environment, and you've heard the my onboard mic. Now I'm going to pit it against the Rode Video Micro, which is what I am or was intending on replacing it with. So mounted that on the camera. Now listen, let's listen to it. Okay, so now, after you've seen those clips there, there, you can tell that there is a difference. All right, now, obviously, the onboard microphone, um, it didn't have any background noise. And it was pretty quiet. It just didn't pick up much of anything else. So, you know, for up close, you know, vlogging, stuff like that, it might do. It didn't pick up hardly a lot of sound. Now, I can actually boost that on the camera and boost its sensitivity way up. But uh, I wanted all the settings to be the same. Um, now then the, uh, the Tackstar, you know, it did okay. When I turned it on, you know, definitely there was a boost of sound there. And you could hear a motor running in the background. Now that thing's a long ways away. I mean, what you're hearing is probably, uh, you know, half a mile away at the closest. I'm not sure exactly how far it away it is but I don't have any neighbors that live within a half a mile of me um, I'm not sure what that motor is but it actually is louder on video than I can actually hear it in sound so it is really sensitive it's picking that up but there's there's quite a bit of static in there um, I can hear that hiss it sounds like wind but the wind's not blowing um, and so then I turn on the 10 decibel uh, the 10 decibel boost and it only got worse and then when I put on the base filter, it it actually got worse again. And then when I turned the 10 decibel boost off and left it only on the base filter, I think that's when I got my best sound was when it was on the, the ba base filter with the 10 decibel boost off. Then it got a sound. Now the Rode Video Micro um, also picked up good sound. You could hear the motor, you could hear everything, but it had less hiss to it. So all in all... Um, obviously, this is a higher quality mic, and it it uh, you know this cost almost triple what this cost, and it it did a better job. It doesn't have the bass boost and all these other things on there, <coughs> but it did actually in that in that setting, which I tried to do quiet, which actually sounds kind of quiet outside, but it really picked up a lot of noise. Like I said, I live in the middle of nowhere; it's still a lot of noise outside, um, and uh, but you know. In this case, using the base filter when you want absolute quiet, it did its best, but it did, still didn't get rid of that that hiss. But it did pretty good. It is only a twenty-one dollar, uh, well, almost twenty-two dollars, twenty dollars, twenty-one dollar and eighty-nine cents or something like that. Anyways, twenty-two bucks. It's not, it's not bad. Now let's go ahead and do some other testing here. We'll do indoor testing, and going to capture a little sound um, of music here. Okay, so I've got the Tac Star mounted to my camera, and I've got my little Aux, Aux, Aux Angle 3 uh, speaker here hooked up to my Samsung Galaxy smartphone. So I'm uh, going to play a little music that I downloaded from the uh, YouTube royalty-free library so I don't get a copyright infringement here. So ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Play another one here. So I played those two. Now I'm going to hook up the Rode Video Micro and do the same thing over again so that we can compare those two. Okay, so I've got the Rode Video Micro hooked up to the camera now. So let's go ahead and play those songs again. 
All right. All right, let's go song two. All right, guys, so you heard both samples, um, and I got to be honest with you that in person, they sounded almost identical. The audio from the Tax Star was just a slight muffle to it, but I did have the bass filter turned on, and that might have counted for that. Um, I had left that on from the outdoor test, and I forgot to uh, turn it off. But, you know, it does reduce that ambient hiss and hum a little bit, and I, I did like the sound that came out of it. The Rode Video Micro microphone, it had a little bit sharper sound to it than this um but it might not be pleasing to everyone but as far as the overall quality of recording from the little speaker here i could almost not tell the difference from what these captured and just playing the raw audio right out of out of the uh the smartphone so that's pretty good okay uh, i do want to stop a moment to say that this did not come with the kit i bought this separate this is from the newer company um, it's a dead cat muff wind filter uh, and I'll throw a link to it underneath the video in the description area because this it, you can see that it does fit the tack the tack star very well um, now let's talk about construction and things okay so this is a $22 microphone guys and for what you're getting for it it's well worth $22 uh, that being said it is a little flimsy uh, it's very plasticky and I this right here does not inspire a lot of confidence that it won't break off. This little wheel is very, very flimsy and actually very difficult to operate in the field. I had a hard time the way it sets on the camera. It doesn't have much groove to it, so the finger slides. And when trying to tighten, you can't get your hand around it. The camera's down here, so it's, you end up trying to kind of do stuff like this. So it's a little hard to tighten it down on the camera to hold it, and it's hard to get off because of the way it, it is. But... You know, like I said, it, it is a $22 microphone, not a $150 microphone, which is what you would pay if you bought something like this in the uh, the Rode quality, like the Rode Video Mic Pro or something like that, okay? Um, this is permanently attached, guys. So you if you break this cord, then you're going to have to throw the whole microphone away unless you know how to open it up and solder it. So that's kind of a bummer. I, I didn't really like that. But again, we're talking about a $22 item. So it is a throwaway item. Um, or you could give it away to a friend and buy a whole bunch more of them before you get to the cost of one uh, Rode Video Mic Pro. And uh, so that is a really good deal. Um, is it absolute the top of the line professional quality? By no means that it is. It is, it is what it is, and it costs $22, and you really can't really beat it for the price. Okay, guys, well, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please like, subscribe, and comment. Uh, and remember, all the products in this uh, video will be posted uh, links to those underneath the video in the description area. You, you know, just click on that show more button if you want to see those. And until next time, this is the Gadget Man saying, I'll see you later. Oh,